Have you ever wondered which places in the world have the smallest Muslim populations? It's pretty interesting to see how different countries and regions vary so much in their religious makeup. For example, places like Japan, Laos, and Bhutan have virtually no Muslims at all. But today, we're going to focus on Europe and take a closer look at the 10 European countries with the lowest Muslim population density in 2024. So why do these countries make our list? Well, it's all about the numbers. Factors like historical paths, migration patterns, and cultural influences play a big role in keeping these numbers low. Let's dive into why these specific countries stand out and what keeps them on this unique list. Number 10. Slovakia Nestled in the heart of Europe, Slovakia stands as a quiet sentinel against the influence of Islam. With a population of around 5.5 million, Slovakia is predominantly Catholic, and its government has taken extreme measures to ensure that this religious identity remains unchallenged. Did you know that Slovakia was the first European country to ban the official recognition of Islam? In 2016, a law was passed requiring any religion to have at least 50,000 adherents to be recognized by the state. Islam, with fewer than 5,000 Muslims in the country, didn't stand a chance. As of 2024, not a single mosque exists in Slovakia, a statistic that leaves many questioning the country's commitment to religious freedom. The government justifies its stance as a measure to protect national security and cultural identity, but is that really the truth? Surveys reveal that more than 60% of Slovaks believe Islam is incompatible with Slovak culture. This belief has fueled policies that not only prevent Muslims from practicing their faith, but also from even entering the country. What does this say about Slovakia's future in a multicultural Europe? The lack of mosques and the stringent laws reflect a broader societal sentiment that views Islam as a threat to Slovak culture and values. This exclusionary stance raises questions about Slovakia's place in a European Union that champions human rights and religious freedom. Number 9. Latvia Latvia, a small nation on the Baltic Sea, is often overlooked in discussions about religious freedom. Yet, in 2024, it stands as one of the least welcoming countries for Muslims. With a population of just under 2 million, Latvia has a tiny Muslim community comprising less than 1% of the population. But why is such a small group met with such hostility? In recent years, Latvia has passed a series of laws that effectively prevent Muslims from gaining citizenship. The government claims it's about preserving the Latvian way of life, a phrase that echoes fears of cultural erosion. The result is a country where Muslims are not just marginalized but actively excluded. The construction of mosques is heavily restricted, and Islamic practices are often met with suspicion or outright hostility. Did you know that in 2024, Latvia had the highest rate of hate crimes against Muslims in the Baltic region? With over 75% of Latvians expressing concerns about the influence of Islam, it's no wonder the government has adopted such draconian measures. But what does this mean for a nation that prides itself on being part of the European Union, an institution that champions human rights? The high rate of hate crimes and restrictive laws paint a grim picture of religious tolerance in Latvia, raising concerns about the country's commitment to the EU's core values. Number 8. Hungary Hungary, under the leadership of Viktor Orban, has become synonymous with anti-Muslim sentiment. Since 2015, Hungary has taken a hardline stance against Muslim immigration, a policy that has only intensified in 2024. With a population of nearly 10 million, Hungary is overwhelmingly Christian, and its government has made it clear that it intends to keep it that way. Did you know that Hungary has one of the strictest immigration policies in Europe? Muslims in particular face significant hurdles, from visa restrictions to outright bans. The government argues that these measures are necessary to protect national security and preserve Hungarian culture. But is there more to the story? In Hungary, over 70% of the population supports the government's anti-Muslim policies. This support has emboldened Orban to implement laws that effectively bar Muslims from entering the country. The construction of mosques is prohibited, and Islamic organizations are closely monitored by the state. What does this mean for Hungary's place in the European Union? Where freedom of religion is supposed to be a fundamental right, the overwhelming public support for these policies suggests a deep-seated fear and mistrust of Islam. 
which has been leveraged by the government to justify its exclusionary stance. This raises critical questions about Hungary's future in a union that values diversity and religious freedom. Number 7. Poland Poland, a country with a deeply rooted Catholic identity, has taken significant measures to maintain its religious homogeneity. With a population nearing 38 million, Poland stands as one of the most devout nations in Europe, where over 85% of its citizens identify as Catholic. This strong religious identity has led to a notable resistance to Muslim immigration. As of 2024, Poland remains one of the few European countries with an almost negligible Muslim population. In fact, less than 0.1% of Poland's population is Muslim. The government's stringent immigration policies and lack of legal recognition for Islam have created an environment where Muslims are not just unwelcome but nearly invisible. The Polish stance is largely driven by a desire to preserve its Catholic heritage. However, this resistance raises questions about whether it is truly about faith or more about fear. Recent surveys indicate that over 80% of Poles believe Islam poses a threat to their way of life. This widespread belief has fueled policies that effectively exclude Muslims from the national fabric, casting doubt on Poland's commitment to broader European values. The country's approach to immigration and religious diversity reflects a complex interplay of historical, cultural, and political factors that continue to shape its national identity. Number 6. Bulgaria Bulgaria, with its intricate history of Ottoman rule, has a fraught relationship with Islam. Today, Muslims constitute about 10% of Bulgaria's population, a legacy of the country's Ottoman past. However, in 2024, Bulgaria has implemented measures to limit the influence of Islam, particularly among its immigrant population. The country has some of the most restrictive laws on religious expression in Europe. These include bans on certain religious garments and limitations on the construction of new mosques. The government justifies these measures as necessary for national security and social cohesion. The real motives behind Bulgaria's actions are influenced by a deep-seated fear of returning to Ottoman-era domination. Surveys reveal that nearly 65% of Bulgarians view Islam with suspicion, a sentiment that has been stoked by political leaders. This fear has translated into laws that marginalize Muslims, especially those from immigrant backgrounds. For a country that is home to one of the largest Muslim populations in Europe, these policies raise significant questions about its commitment to religious freedom and integration. The tension between Bulgaria's historical experiences and its current policies highlights the ongoing struggle to balance national identity with the realities of a diverse population. Number 5. Greece Greece, often referred to as the cradle of Western civilization, has a complex relationship with Islam. With a Muslim population of around 5%, Greece is one of the few European countries with a significant Muslim minority. However, as of 2024, Greece still lacks a fully functioning mosque in its capital, Athens, despite decades of promises from the government. The Greek government has been slow to recognize the rights of its Muslim population, particularly in the wake of the refugee crisis. This issue is deeply rooted in Greece's national identity, which is closely intertwined with Orthodox Christianity. The construction of mosques has faced resistance from both the public and political leaders. Surveys indicate that over 70% of Greeks believe Islam is incompatible with Greek culture. This belief has fueled policies aimed at restricting Islamic practices, including the reluctance to support the construction of mosques in Athens. The long-term consequences of this exclusion are yet to be seen, but it raises important questions about Greece's ability to integrate its Muslim minority. As a country that lies at the crossroads of East and West, Greece's approach to religious diversity will significantly impact its social cohesion and international relations. Number 4. Denmark Denmark, often celebrated for its progressive values, might seem an unlikely candidate for having one of the lowest Muslim population densities in Europe. However, as of 2024, Denmark has enforced some of the most stringent immigration policies on the continent, particularly targeting Muslims. With a population nearing 5.94 million, Denmark remains predominantly Lutheran, with only about 5% of its residents identifying as Muslim. Interestingly, 
Denmark has banned the wearing of face-covering veils in public since 2018. This law was just the beginning. By 2024, the Danish government had introduced even more rigorous measures to curb Muslim immigration and integration. The Danish authorities argue that these policies are essential to maintain social cohesion and safeguard Danish values. But is this truly about preserving values, or is it driven by a fear of the unfamiliar? Surveys reveal that over 60% of Danes perceive Islam as a threat to their way of life, a sentiment mirrored in the country's increasingly restrictive immigration laws. This raises questions about Denmark's standing as a champion of human rights. How does a nation known for its humanitarian principles reconcile such exclusionary practices? Adding another layer to this complex issue, Denmark's strict naturalization requirements have led to a significant rise in the number of people living in the country without Danish citizenship. In 2022, the number of new citizens dropped to its lowest level in four decades, with only 1,400 individuals being granted citizenship. This trend underscores the broader implications of Denmark's hardline stance on immigration and integration, particularly for Muslim communities. Number 3. Italy Italy, with its rich history and deep-rooted Catholic traditions, has witnessed a surge in anti-Muslim sentiment in recent years. Home to approximately 60 million people, Italy's Muslim minority numbers around 2.5 million. Despite this, as of 2024, Italy still lacks a national framework for recognizing Islam as an official religion. The Italian government has been slow to grant Muslims the same rights as other religious groups, a delay tied closely to the nation's identity, which is deeply intertwined with Catholicism. The construction of mosques and the recognition of Islamic holidays have faced significant resistance from both the public and political leaders. This resistance reflects a broader reluctance to embrace religious diversity. Surveys indicate that over 60% of Italians believe Islam is incompatible with Italian culture, a belief that has fueled policies restricting Muslim immigration and integration. The government's refusal to acknowledge Islam on equal footing with other religions has resulted in a scarcity of official mosques and a pervasive atmosphere of exclusion for Muslims. This situation poses a critical question. How long can Italy maintain this stance in an increasingly multicultural Europe? The lack of official recognition for Islam has not only hindered the construction of mosques, but also limited the ability of Muslims to practice their faith freely. This exclusionary approach stands in stark contrast to the principles of religious freedom and equality that are fundamental to European values. Moreover, Italy's struggle with integrating its Muslim population highlights a broader challenge facing many European countries. As the continent becomes more diverse, the need for inclusive policies that respect and accommodate different religious and cultural identities becomes increasingly urgent. Italy's current approach characterized by resistance and exclusion, may not be sustainable in the long run. Number 2. Switzerland Switzerland, often seen as a symbol of neutrality and human rights, harbors a surprising resistance to Islam. With a population of approximately 8.5 million, Muslims constitute about 5% of the populace. As of 2024, Switzerland continues to enforce a nationwide ban on the construction of minarets, a policy that was enacted in 2009 following a contentious referendum. This ban remains firmly in place today. The Swiss government justifies this restriction by claiming it reflects the public's desire to preserve the country's cultural landscape. However, there is more to this narrative. The minaret ban is just one aspect of Switzerland's complex relationship with Islam. Over 60% of Swiss citizens express concerns about the influence of Islam within their country a sentiment that has led to increasing restrictions on Muslim religious practices. The construction of new mosques is subject to stringent regulations, and public displays of Islamic faith are frequently met with suspicion. This raises questions about how a nation that prides itself on democratic values reconciles these restrictions with its commitment to freedom and equality. In addition to the minaret ban, Switzerland has implemented other measures that reflect its uneasy stance towards Islam. For instance, the public wearing of full-face coverings, such as the burqa and niqab, was banned in 2021. These policies have sparked debates about religious freedom 
and the integration of Muslim communities into Swiss society. Despite these challenges, the Muslim population in Switzerland continues to grow, driven by immigration from countries like Bosnia, Kosovo, Turkey, and various North African nations. This demographic shift underscores the need for a more inclusive approach to integration and religious tolerance. Number 1. France France, renowned for its staunch commitment to secularism, has a complicated and often contentious relationship with Islam. With a population of around 67 million, France hosts Europe's largest Muslim community, estimated at about 6 million people. As of 2024, France maintains some of the most stringent laws against the public expression of Islamic faith. These policies are deeply rooted in the principle of laïcité, which aims to keep religion out of public life. The French state argues that these measures are essential for maintaining social cohesion and ensuring equality among all citizens. However, the reality is more nuanced. Since the early 2000s, France has enacted a series of laws that increasingly restrict the public expression of Islam. One of the most controversial policies is the ban on religious symbols in public spaces, including the wearing of hijabs in schools and public buildings. This law, which remains in effect in 2024, has been widely supported by the French public, with over 70% of citizens believing that Islam is incompatible with French values. This belief has fueled a wave of anti-Muslim sentiment, leading to the closure of numerous mosques and Islamic organizations accused of promoting extremism. The consequences of these policies are profound. France's Muslim community faces daily challenges in practicing their faith, raising questions about the country's ability to integrate its Muslim population meaningfully. The stringent laws have not only marginalized Muslims, but also sparked debates about the future of France as a multicultural society. Despite these challenges, the Muslim population in France continues to grow, driven by both natural increase and immigration. This demographic trend highlights the urgent need for policies that promote inclusion and respect for religious diversity. And there you have it. These 10 European countries have the lowest Muslim population densities in 2024 for a variety of reasons, from historical developments to migration trends. It's fascinating to see how different factors come together to shape the religious landscape of a region. Whether it's due to cultural history or recent policies, these countries remain unique in their demographic makeup. Thanks for joining us on this journey through Europe's diverse religious culture. If you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comment section down below and turn on your notifications to know when next we upload. See you in our next video. Bye.